we've got a few Q and A um, things to go through. What's the difference between cold laser wrist and cold laser wrist X? Well, X really denotes um, it's it's a higher grade with greater functions. We've got generator X, same thing. Our generator X is a leading edge generator that can do things that no other generator in the world, frequency generator that is, in the world can do. Now, cold laser wrist X, because it's got the, the, the lasers, the three colors of LEDs, it's got the two laser accessories, it's got all, it's, it's, it's at a greater level to cold laser wrist. And so um, it has got more functions. Um, it has also got more lasers as well built into it. Uh, now, one thing that a lot of people suffer from is tinnitus, and uh, the cold laser wrist X has got a ear laser, which um, is ideal for treating tinnitus. Now, all the units have got three power levels, low, medium, or high, and we suggest we start on the medium or the low and then advance after a little while. Now, I, as I briefly mentioned earlier, you get the best results if you use cold laser wrist or the wrist X before bedtime. It's when you sleep, your body does all the housekeeping. Not your house housekeeping, but your body's housekeeping. <laughs> um, but please remember to always clear your nasal cavity uh, before you use the nasal probe. Can children use cold laser series products? Now, the general uh, thing that we state is that we don't recommend children under the age of 12 to use cold laser series products. Um, really, that's um, more to do with the fact that children tend to find it harder to keep still. Um, the, there have been multiple studies um, on the use of cold lasers and LED light therapy treatments for young children and even babies. But we always uh, are very cautious with our products. So we, and our official line is do not use for children under the age of 12. Also don't use if you are pregnant, if you have uh, cancer, or have a bleeding disorder. Okay. What kind of food should I have? We recommend light meals and avoid greasy food. If you have large meals, then your body is spending energy in digesting the meal. Um, when you eat food, your body immediately has to do something with that lump of food that you've introduced into your body. And so the energy goes into your gut in your um, intestines. If you have light meals, then again, less energy is directed to digestion. So in a way, it's, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's, a, it's the same thing, where your body's energies are used um, to help remove any toxins that may be created through the treatment of the cold laser treatments. And the greasy food, now this is just a general thing. Uh, greasy food overall isn't healthy. Most foods prepared today use unhealthy oils. The only way you can really guarantee that you're introducing healthy oils into your body is to do the cooking yourself. Do the research, find out which oils are good, which ones to avoid, the trans fats and others. And cook using those oils. Still keep the oil content low, but um, sometimes it's unavoidable. 